I'm giving a talk on Thursday uh, here, and it's on the, the five big myths of digital fabrication. And so we've been doing a lot of digital fabrication stuff for years, and we've noticed that there's kind of five big problems that most people run into when they first get involved uh, working in digital fabrication. And it's usually because of certain assumptions, uh, like um, a, a classic one is t uh, tolerance issues, uh, that where people feel like because it's being made by a robot, it's probably going to be perfect. Uh, in some way, and the real world is very far from perfect, and even the robots are far from perfect. You know, so there's designs that we've seen that people have done using a tool like 123D or using like a crazy grasshopper, you know, generative component style, like giant waveform or something crazy, you know, where there's hundreds of individual parts all slotting together just so. And if you're not very careful about how they slot together, it, it won't assemble. You know, and so there's a classic problem where people will laser cut or uh, something or CNC route something and, uh, or even with a 3D printer assume that it's going to be perfect and the reality is it's pretty far from that. So um, there's a lot of issues that you need to be aware of. So it's, it's kind of a higher level strategy talk around like here's the five big things that you should pay attention to when you're first getting into digital fabrication and, um, and kind of the myths that are you know, around that, like around 3D printing and, and other things that... You know, there's there's certainly a lot of stuff that's true there, but people tend to take those assumptions and then kind of go one or two steps further in logic past where things are really working and wind up in trouble um, because of it. Like another classic example is unfolding. Um, there's lots of software programs that will unfold things like 123D and Rhino and such have unfolding capabilities, but they don't understand anything about K factors, right? So if you're folding metal, there's something called a K factor. So when you fold something, it gets fatter where you fold it. That actually shortens the legs a little bit. Of the, like, so if you're folding a tab up, the tab's going to be a tiny bit shorter because of that fatting, fattening of the metal where, where the seam is, right? And sure, that might only make it like a 64th off or something like that, but when you're folding like, you know, two dozen panels, by the time you get to that 24th panel, you're way off of where you thought you were going to be, and, it, and so you can have cumulative errors over time. So if you're using a manufacturing tool set, something like Inventor that actually understands K-factors and are able to calculate for that, you know, and you're aware of the fact that you need that, you know, right. so you can run into problems where, like, you design something, it looks great on the computer, it works great when you laser cut it out of paper to make a prototype, but then when you make the real thing to go on, like, the outside of a house or a building, all of a sudden it's not working at all. You know, so th there's issues like that too. And uh, so it's just a talk going into lots of those kinds of different issues. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun.